What's happening this morning, man? Saturday morning. I'm in North Carolina, man. On the ground. Oh, yeah. That part. You know, if I can't ride my motorcycle, you know, I can't go. Hey, shout out to the Cobras, man. I think it was Kentucky. <clears throat> Trust me, I wanted to be there. But the weather conditions were not rideable. If you want me there, you got to be sure I can ride my motorcycle. <laughs> anyway, man, I made a shout out, man. I heard y'all had a good time, man. None. It's the next level. Everybody was in the house. This morning, you can see I got a very special guest, man, in the FHO hot seat. <laughs> man, my man Jermaine Hopkins, I'm going to let him introduce himself, man. And uh, we're going to ask him a few questions, man. Hope y'all can get something from this. All right? What's good? What's good? It's your boy J-Hop, a.k.a. King Maintain. You know, I heard early. that King Maintain. Y'all heard oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 78. Yeah. All day, every day. First question, man. What's been going on with you? How you been? I've been good, man. You know, just uh, just been blessed, man. You know, just uh, you know, stay surrounded by my family. You know, stay, you know, striving. You know, everything's been good. Ride my How? What is it? What What attracted you to the motorcycle culture? I mean, you know, you being who you are, you you know, you can lightweight play down that you're famous or whatever. But you know, for us, man, a lot of us as just entrepreneurs and that aspire to be on our own, man, you did it. I mean, you, you know, you've been acting, you, know, you got some movies up under your belt. So you have that, that, you know, that what they call that fame or whatever, that, that worldwide recognition. How was that as a person? How do you grasp that and handle that? Um, uh, you know, I really just, that's just like a job. I always, ever since I was a kid, I always looked at it as that's just a job that everybody get to see you do. Okay. You know, uh, and it kept me from looking at my position different or being into that, like my pops used to say, that big me, little you. Okay. You know, uh, to where, okay, well, you know, oh, you you only a, 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 a whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm on TV. I never really looked at my career like that. You know, I always looked at it as just a job that everybody gets to see me do. And if they bring the cameras to your job, you'd be just as big a star as me. You know what I'm saying? As uh, far as this MC, what attracted me. Good morning, Mom. Hey, what's up, baby? Good morning. You know, what attracted me to uh, Harley's and uh, the MC. I heard that. Uh, honestly. <laughs> Was you know my pops man back back in the mid nineties man in Cali man I touched down in Cali man you know I always thought before I you know from New Jersey so I'm thinking you know Harley's that's some old man shit I you know I, yeah man, ain't nobody right no Harley's man but man when I got to L A <laughs> wow these dudes bikes was so custom I'm like yo. You ride that? Yeah. You know, you ain't got that in somebody's show. Like, yeah. I'm looking at the detailed paint jobs and stuff like that. I'm like, hey, Pops, they ride these bikes? Yeah. He said, hell yeah. I'm like, man, I've never seen nothing like it before. And uh, I went to my first roundup. I want to say maybe 99, 2000. Which one was it? Uh, it was in Texas. Texas, okay. You know, uh, and uh, after that, it was over with, you know, I said I wanted to uh, experience, you know, the lifestyle. My pops never was in a club, but he always, you know, the D.O.'s, you know, second to none, rear breed. He kept me all around, you know, them, especially the D.O.'s. It was all the time, plus my uncle Bodie. The fine ones. You know That's one of the, our OGs, man, one of the ones who helped mold and cultivate this culture. That's right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. The same culture that you are in right now that you just freely play with and live with. And, and a part of the D.O.'s, man, they live that. And they, shout and they out still to the do it today, man. Made a shout out to the D.O.'s. Okay. Yeah. So, being the transition from, from you know, seeing L.A. and you being from Philly, um, you're now in, in North Carolina. What is the biggest difference between the coast? Okay, you from Philly. Yeah, no, no, What's I'm, the from, difference? I'm from Jersey. From Jersey, I'm yeah. sorry. No, you know, you got to get no, when you up to all the city, baby. Them, yeah. them, them boroughs and all that. They, no, 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 I'm from, whoop, 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can tell you me I'm from California. That. You just got to keep I'm from Compton, clear. but you, as long as you say California, I'm going to ride with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But them cats made them Jersey and Phillies. And that's and, different and, state. And, <laughs> well, whatever. That's Pennsylvania. For us, all that shit is That's Commonwealth there. over there. That's, <laughs> all that shit is up there, man. Okay, so being from there, experiencing the West Coast, uh, get out, and being here in North Carolina, how is that? I mean, what is the... Well... Yeah, that's that's a good question. Uh, Newark bred me and prepared me to go wherever. Okay. Uh, and, and, and really, really strive and make it. Cali showed me the real side of the other side. You know, uh, when I say the other side, you know, when you meet a Cali cat with some paper, you mean it with some paper. Nah. Ain't no hood rich. This nigga's rich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know where I'm from. We, yeah. You know, you have a few thousand. You good. A yeah. Nice whip. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You can still be at mama house. You know what I mean? But but when I went out there, I just seen a you know, whole nother side. And don't get me wrong, man. We got millionaires, you know, uh, uh, on my end as well. But when I got to, when I got to Cali, you know, 16, 17 years old, I was and really, yeah. I was really like introduced, like, the money that these dudes <laughs> put in these low riders and cars, I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, they driving this on the street? You know, and uh, I, I just seen a whole nother level. Like, Beverly Hills, like, you can't, there's no comparison to that. Yeah. There's nothing in Newark that you can compare to Beverly Hills <laughs> on any level, yeah. period. I don't even know a place in Jersey that you can. You know, and just, you know, riding through there, just looking, you know, you know you're around so much wealth when you feel like, I ain't got no business riding around here sightseeing. You know what I mean? And you this just, and it's in the hood. Yeah, you, you just feel out of place. You know what I'm saying? You riding around just looking at houses and, and this stuff. And in the hood. You know what I'm talking about? Man, shit. So, so now being in North Carolina, how is that? I mean, why did you choose North, North Carolina? Carolina why is, did you choose North Carolina as the base? Because this is a... 100% perfect spot <laughs> to raise a family and uh you know me and my wife you know we got 20 some odd years and you know I got man hold on hold on don't we're not finna you don't downplay 20 some odd years 20 <laughs> years with the same person I'm just starting out I've been with the queen you know five six seven years up down off and on but we you know just got married so we're on our just had our first anniversary going on in two years okay, and uh anniversary. baby I love you, boo, but you know what I'm talking about. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. It ain't, it ain't easy, bro. <laughs> you know, but 20 plus years, man. So that's definitely a major shout out to you and the missus, man. And, and uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. 20 plus years. Yeah, y'all didn't even know he was that old, huh? A lot of y'all didn't even know he was that old, huh? Y'all still <laughs> thought he's like from Juice or some shit. Like the same little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but this nigga old, man. You know, yeah, bro. then I, you know, I got, I got boys, man. And, you know, my son's. Fit the description on both sides. They fit the description, far as from the street level, and then far as they size and everything like that. They fit the description when it comes to the police. Although they don't even, you know, they go to school, they went to school and did everything they needed to do. And I just felt like I needed to get out of there and put them in a in a situation where they could grow, they could live, and whatever kind of struggles we got, it won't be those kind of struggles. Okay. You know, about worrying about them going to the store and, you know, a stolen car might hit them or whatever. Like, my hood is real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm from is real. Like, it's it's really real. It's not like, you know, a uh, 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 hip-hop uh, 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 fabricated yeah. like that, that. You know, the bricks is it's, it's for real there. So... I mean, anybody from there know there know exactly what I'm talking about, and uh, I'm sure a lot that could, if they could, you know, and they had another option, they would be gone too because you know nobody wants to live in a war zone, you know. But it is what it is. How often uh, do you go back? Uh, well, I moved most of my, most of my family moved down here, so you know I got my friends and stuff. I go back up there for. I go back up if I got some business to handle in New York. I stay in Newark, you know, go and. Highlight my peoples or whatever, you know. Uh, but mo for the most part, man, everything is happening this way. Okay. You know, um, and like I said, I got a 25 year old. He's 25 now. You know, I had to get him out from, you know, up there. He grew up in the projects, you know. Uh, you know, I, I wanted my, my kids to be familiar with my upbringing because 
from my upbringing, it it, it, it it built me to where I can go anywhere. I didn't have no problems in Cali. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I brought a couple of my friends out there. They couldn't wait to get back because they just couldn't understand and they couldn't adapt or understand, okay, well, okay, you just can't do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and it's, it's law. It ain't no, like, you know, you can just do it and get away with it. You know, be problem and repercussions and all that type of stuff. Also, I got a a, a nineteen year old son, you know, uh, and a thirteen year old daughter, and an eight year old grandbaby that's about to be nine. You know, so I had to put, you know, my family in a position to where, you know, grandpa's house, you know, is the place to be. It's safe. It's cool. You know, and so, you know, we are we. When I was uh. About 14, after I did lean on me, you know, Warrington, North Carolina, I got my mother the house down there. Okay. With the land. So that was really kind of, and then my sister was married to a Marine, you know, and she went from North to Camp Lejeune. So I would come down for the summer, and it was like a whole nother thing. Like, I couldn't believe, I, my first time going to Golden Corral was like, Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean to tell me I can go up there and yeah. I can get as much as I want, yeah. as many times as I want? Oh, that's real fat. Where they do that? At? Real, go to oh, and I was, that, that's when I was a super fat boy.